All right, guys, so this little video is just a super quick um, demo on how to bake squash and sweet potatoes as part of your meal planning, as part of baking ahead and preparing some food ahead. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you is what I do with my sweet potatoes. Um, sweet potatoes, remember, they're such a good superfood. They are packed out with all kinds of vitamins and minerals and um, things that our body needs. They're an amazing food. So my husband and I try to eat them every single week. Um, but what we usually do is on meal planning, meal prepping day, I will portion out, see how big they are? I will cut them into two or three pieces. This is about a serving size for my hubby and I. See how it fits right in the middle of my hand? Remember that um, when we talk about portion sizes, a handful is a portion. So there's a portion right there. So I pre-cut them. I wrap them in some foil. I've got my oven on 400 degrees. Your oven might be a little different. You might do 350, you might do 425. It depends on how hot your oven runs. I have kind of a mid to hot oven. So I do 400. I use one of my little cake pans here and I just wrap up all my little sweet potato pieces for the week. Like I said, hubby and I try to eat them just about every day. So we make about six or so pieces for the week minimum, sometimes a little more depending on what the meal plan is. So let me show you what I do. I just cut off the edge here. You don't even have to do that really. Um, sometimes they need to be washed and I'll wash them, but these are really pre-washed and in great shape. And these are the paler ones. I use the deep ruby ones also. It does not matter. You can use the, the white looking ones because sometimes if someone is not sure they're gonna like sweet potatoes, um, they prefer a lighter color and that helps to um, get them excited about actually eating sweet potatoes. But these are so great um, to use, and I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show my meal planning people in my class later on, um, in the Eat Fresh meal planning class, that these are so great to open up later in the week, pull them out of the aluminum foil, they've been sitting in the fridge after they cool down to room temp. I open them up and I'll reheat them for 30 seconds and throw a little olive oil or butter on them, or just salt and pepper, um, or nothing. They're so rich all by themselves. So that's how we reheat them. You can also use them once you've cooked them in all kinds of dishes. You can use them in a shepherd's pie. You can use them um, in <clears throat> like a mashed sweet potato dish for dinner with some chives. Um, and you can use them in smoothies. So there's many different ways to reuse your potatoes. So I'm gonna stick these little guys on the bottom shelf because at the same time I'm baking my potatoes, I'm gonna bake some squash. That way I'm using my oven uh, for several things at once. Obviously you gotta adjust cooking time when you do that, it takes a little longer. But I love that idea because it preserves energy. And if you're, it's summertime right now, so if I'm already heating up the house, why not get a couple of things knocked out for the week? So this is how I do my spaghetti squash. You can see here that uh, this is a very beautiful spaghetti squash. And all I do is, I cut down the center, I stabilize it on the other side of my knife, so my knife is pointing down this way, and I cut down the center here, okay? And it's really easier than it looks. And then I'm gonna turn around and do the same thing. This is the safe way to do it, especially if you're nervous about using a big old knife in your kitchen. And then you can pull this guy open. Oops, I didn't cut all the way through. Pull him open, and you can see that he's got a lot of seeds in here. So what I do is, I'm gonna take you over, pull it back, baby. Sorry. Pull back from me. Right next to me. I prefer to be like a little ways away from you. And um, take your spoon here and see how easy this is? You're just grabbing the seeds and pulling them out of your squash, just like this, without losing any of your flesh. This is so easy. It's so intimidating when you first um, see squash in the grocery store, isn't it? You're not sure, how do I cook this thing? And is it hard? And is it gonna take a lot of time? And they really don't. And then I'm gonna take my cleaned out squash and I'm gonna put about a quarter inch of water in here. Different people do this different ways. 
Some people do it in the microwave. Some people do it in a pressure cooker. I prefer the oven. I've tried different ways and I really just continue to go back to the oven. It's too easy. I put it face down in the water. I'm gonna come do the same thing with this side. Okay. And then again, my Eat Fresh meal planning participants are gonna get the video that shows them how, uh, actually how to utilize the flesh of this squash because we'll actually be working with a cooked squash on that video. All right, so that's what we're doing with this other half. We're gonna stick him over here with the other half. Do you see how they're laying face down? I'm gonna take the aluminum foil, give it a nice tent so that it traps the heat and the moisture, like the steam from the water, is gonna be trapped and steam up and cook up the squash. This is just the healthiest way to make it. No grease, no mess, no fuss. And I'm gonna put this guy in with our sweet potatoes. Remember, we've got our oven on 400 degrees. I made a little boo-boo. Okay. Now, over here, I'm gonna do my last um, pre-bake for this segment. This is an acorn squash. I personally love acorn squash. I'm doing the same thing to cut it that I do with the spaghetti squash, mind you. So you see how I'm pointing the knife away? Not a beautiful cut, but you guys get the picture. Okay, acorns are, to me, one of the uh, most fun to use as just a little side dish. What I actually do with this guy is a little different than what I did with the spaghetti. I get a little, um, where'd my spoon go? I get a little splurgy with this one. So what I do is, again, I'm cleaning out the, the inside mess, the seeds and that pulpy stuff, okay? And just leaving the flesh. But I'm gonna put something really nice inside. And this is one of my husband's uh, favorite side dishes and he takes it to work he reheats it all week long and takes little servings of it to work with him as a side dish to his grilled salmon or his grilled chicken slices it's just so easy so what I do is a little splurge we're gonna do a tiny bit of butter and a teensy tiny bit of brown sugar All right, I'm gonna do about a tablespoon and a half or so of butter per squash. So you can see it's not, we're not going crazy over here. We're just making this a little fun. And I'm just gonna do a couple heaping teaspoons of brown sugar. Nothing crazy, but definitely tasty. And it kind of like softens the squash. And um, it's totally fun, uh, a fun taste. See what I did here? So that's all I did. I'm gonna take the aluminum foil. Again, we're creating a tent. Yes, there is no water in this one to steam it because I don't want the shells to be too soft. I want them to hold that flesh in. The steam is actually gonna come from the butter. I'm sticking it right here next to your spaghetti squash. So you can see here, we've got our little array of spaghetti squash, acorn squash, and sweet potatoes. And they're all gonna to bake together at least an hour sometimes hour and 20 or so. And then we're gonna have this awesome batch of pre-made, delicious superfoods to enjoy the rest of the week. Thanks guys, Coach Bess here, and I'll see you in the Eat Fresh Meal Planning series.